Yeah. But, but also a significant other life transition happens. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in August of 20... It's 2021. 2021. Yeah. So The Rock, you know, I lit, I've been thinking about that this week. Mm. And I'm like, I now understand what the love of my life mm. means. And because mm. I, was, I was aloof. I'm like, what mm. are people talking about? Mm. Mm. But The Rock mm. and... Um, I pray here there are no tears because mm. the makeups. Ooh, ooh. We, we are ready. We are ready. We mm. might just pause for like two weeks. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, Mr. Mm. Kibinda transitions. Mm. No, you can't bring Xavier. Just no. in case. This is the embarrassing. Just yes. in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah mm. so Mr. Kibinda decides mm. <laughs> uh, I'll make like a bad check and bounce. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, we make humor out of the most. <laughs> <laughs> we had this of uh, conversation. Yeah. And um, that uh, transitions mm. and that changed everything. Mm. It changed everything. Mm. Um, I re oh my goodness. I can't know where they start. They don't stop. <laughs> so it's going to be long. Um, so my my <laughs> so it's just another random guy called ian mm. because christ was not meet. <laughs> we are a christian so now when you don't christ have christ ian. you're just surely, an ian <laughs> and mercy. so i think your editing team will draw that for, 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 for guys who went for, to for this one we have more, a lot of work to more do for university <laughs> and i'm not for, mentioning like in a corner <laughs> This one, you have a lot of work to do for editing. Right? Ten, ten. Yeah. You have to put a lot of, a uh, lot of... bloopers <laughs> and, 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 and gifs and gifs. And... Yes, please do. It has to be a fun video. Oh, my goodness. Um, and I felt robbed. Mm. I felt... Uh, literally, what John 10, 10 says, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And that was taken. I mean... All those things happened because and that's why i think when when i say fathers are important i'm mm. talking from a, a, a perspective of a daughter that was and it's still it i find it very hard to still speak of him in past tense x months later but a daughter that is loved and taken of care of by a father i must say he never hit me in terms of discipline never mm. and only those two occasions and, and another occasion i mean two occasions did i feel i disappointed him but he always said he was proud mm. he always said i'm proud of you you can do better as in i'll probably have become mini nasa with his cheerleading you know um yeah so i feel like i'm an amputee and I'm learning to walk without that limb. Mm. Um, it's so interesting because in 2020, I addressed the conversation. I mean, elections are now in 2022. I addressed the conversation for uh, you, you need to buy. He said, No, no, I'm tired. I'm all those things. So, do you know, Fafa, yes, because that's the name we use. Fafa, you know me, I'll buy. He said, Yeah, you go ahead. So, I thought he thought maybe it's just the razzmatazz of mm. politics. But come 2021, we had two occasions and we spoke. And on the last occasion, I think it must have been February or March. And I remember telling him, Papa, you know I'm going to buy. Mm. I want to buy for, uh, for leadership, mm. for political office. He says, yeah, go ahead and I'll support you. Mm. They said Papa is supporting me from heaven. I don't even know how that. <laughs> mm. And it's been a tough journey mm. because I look. And I'm like, I feel like I'm a stranger in my county, mm. but still I belong mm. because then I have to be very designing mm. of the political atmosphere. Mm. Um, people not sure, why, why, why are you doing this? And I realize I owe no man an explanation. The only person who needs an explanation is the said husband mm. who has supported me and mm. given me a green light mm. to be. And the people who matter, our children, mm. our friend, uh, mm. Steve and his family. Mm. Uh, was, that is a, a, a story mm. I think we, mm. Need, mm. we need to tell. Mm. And um, I miss him. I mm. miss him 
terribly the last couple of uh, weeks mm. is you know tears anytime any time mm. um <laughs> i remember there was a time we went to get some shopping and i had to i mean i was busy <laughs> dancing so i'll please give a big up here to a wonderful band called african muse please follow them <laughs> uh please invite them for your corporate gig they are young wonderful uh people mm. And there was it at Sarit? Where was it? Yeah, it was in the pool in town. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And you're like, okay, let's grab lunch mm. uh, before I think you are leaving mm. the next day. And this was just right after so we had uh, mm. escorted him. Mm. And I said, oh, so I'm busy dancing because they're playing that kind of music. Mm. And you know, for a long time, mm. I've loved to mm. dance. It doesn't mm. matter. Mm. It's on the streets, it's when music, where. When mm. it doesn't mm. matter. Mm. And Rikwanena is the, the love of my life in mm. that regard. Mm. And I realized, oh, we don't have meat. Mm. And I can't pick up my call, mm. my phone, mm. to call. And, mm. and I start crying. So I realized the people behind me are probably thinking, this chick is being abused. Or she's mm. been kidnapped. <laughs> because one minute I was on stage, mm. I come, I sit, I whisper to you. Mm. Then I'm oh, having wells and wells and wells. Mm. But I was like, oh, I can't order mm. meat. Mm. Because he used to do that for us. Mm. You know, like anytime I would meet him at the great corner, mm. uh, he would say, ah, these chaps, take them to the babies. Mm. This liver, take it to the babies, mm. you know. Mm. I don't even pay for that. I'll sort it, mm. you know. Mm. And those are like, oh yeah, thanks dad. And you go, oh thanks. And it's heartfelt thanks. Mm. But now when you realize, mm. <laughs> you mm. can't, mm. you know. Mm. Um, having, when I go to Moranga, um, and walking places like we used to either walk or drive, mm. and I can hear some of those mm. conversations, mm. And I'm like, I can't mm. believe you're not here. Mm. You know, there's something about about grief. Mm. It um, it's it's like God. You see it in new dimensions every day, mm. every day. Yeah. So I don't care really about the the grief part. It's just one of severe anger, mm. acceptance. Those mm. I think are very good for head knowledge. Mm. Uh, but I started doing stories about mm. my dad on Instagram. Mm. I was doing them for me. Because I want to be reminded a year from now mm. just how raw it felt, mm. what I'd missed, maybe what I'd taken for granted, mm. which I don't think I did because mm. every time I told you or mm. I met him, I will tell him I love him. Mm. And he even uh, left mm. knowing that. Mm. But then I realized, mm. my God, mm. my father is not like other mm. fathers. Mm. And I met girls who, who, who identified with the kind of father I had. Mm. They were loved girls, mm. you know. Mm. Um, some had to deal with the trauma of a non-existent father. Mm. You've come, you have known it. Mm. And then no sooner are you bonding mm. than he exits the world. Mm. And now you have to deal with another trauma mm. for what is all this about. Mm. Uh, some not having a relationship whatsoever with their fathers mm. for whatever reason mm. so much so that you can you cannot even attend mm. his funeral mm. i could not as i speak like a kenyan fathom mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. uh that so mm. i'm grateful to have been born in the family that i was born to mm. we are not but let me tell you we are not perfect mm. you know we are mm. not we are not perfect but now i understand why people do extreme things when there's loss um, I went and got a tattoo. <laughs> we was never. I was a piercing person, not a tattoo person. Uh, just to remind me about him. Um, I realized how easy it is right. to slip into substance abuse. Mm. Me, me, who was a church worker. Mm. This was Jesus. I was working next to Jesus mm. for Jesus' sake. Me, <laughs> mm. you know, and having to call myself again, coach myself, call mm. myself for a meeting and mm. say. You know, mm. um, I think the marriage has been on pause mm. for a while <laughs> because I'm like me, I am not mm. engaging. Mm. And the scariest thing and which I have told you and told part of my family is when I realized mm. I have nothing to lose, mm. nothing. Mm. And when I sit back and I realize these children that I love so much, mm. I really don't care. Mm. Uh, there are other options. Even me, I can exit the world. Mm. Say it as it is. Mm. Contemplating, even me, I want to die. Mm. Was real. And sometimes even is real even mm. now. Guy, mm. 
hey, we are showering <laughs> guy you'll, the mm. teachers will say what kuoga means mm. <laughs> hopefully i'll never have to repeat this story mm. again mm. um but just again realizing that uh, a support system mm. is very very important mm. and people who will allow you mm. to be mm. to be to mm. to do mm. um getting like sometimes the thought and the pain is so intense i can literally feel it in my skin you know when they say the tips of your nails mm. i feel that mm. i yeah but i think let's because it's not a therapy session mm. let it end there <laughs> but i miss pitamburu kibinda mm. with all my life mm. with everything that i have mm. he was a planner mm. for the city mm. I'm grateful whether they decide to forget or not mm. <laughs> um that he 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 brought changes mm. in the city mm. and that's I, I am big on his leadership because leadership should be transgenerational like you'll exit mm. later on it's still there yeah. he i don't know if it's a planning word but pedestrianized mm. or made mamangina right. mm. uh, a pedestrian street yeah. and somehow after retirement his office always looked at that mm. street mm. and i'm sure many thoughts would mm. come mm. for how he did it how he would make it better mm. it's under his leadership that we installed uh taps for uh, uh, drinking water mm. but who are kenyans mm. it has uproot the mm. taps mm. he brought benches into the city for people to sit mm. because we were either meeting at java mm. and ordering hot water lemon mm. and you see if until your date mm. <laughs> appears mm. but now you mm. know uh the the greening of the city mm. so he his team they had planted trees on mombasa road mm. when there was a time like mm. that mm. and part around city center some are still mm. surviving on mamangina mm. but when regime changed mm. whom star we mm. let us approach the trees and plant cabro mm. <sighs> politics mm. <laughs> and leadership mm. um so i'm grateful i'm grateful that there are many tangible things he mm. did mm. he he was also the director of the metropolitan mm. department mm. the, the first mm. i think after that again politics mm. um so he ensured uh counties that were closer to nairobi mm. were under the metropolitan mm. and that, that was that so that was uh, uh what is it uh, moranga was part of the metropolis uh kajiado mm. machakos and yeah mm. and no that is a special story mm. so that means even revenue allocation mm. became higher mm. but people don't know this story mm. people mm. and and when especially when we decide to politicize it mm. it's 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 bad mm. but you see we all we all gained mm. and then working hard with another team of people mm. to do something called spatial planning which mm. is the planning of spaces mm. um for nakuru mm. and elevated to the status mm. of nakuru city mm. it's sad mm. that he could not attend mm. <laughs> the big uh, mm. ceremony mm. but i'm glad his mm. work will stand mm. over over the years so it will yeah and and it continues to and it continues. with with um with the many people he worked with with the many people he he mentored um with his children starting with yourself and 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 uh your siblings yeah uh, with his grandchildren and um and also with his um with the two of us who are his in-laws myself <laughs> and, and Frida yeah and i feel absolutely honored and privileged to be his first in-law son <laughs> <laughs> um and um I have lots of things I would say about him but the one thing I um when I have ideated about development dynamics with Maxi this particular uh series that we are doing here which we are seated here mm-hmm. on for, for for a bit of time and shared this with you for what a year plus and um and you know very well that uh Mr Kibinda w- <coughs> was one of the people that uh was in the lists you know to mm-hmm. come and uh be on this seat <laughs> and uh share his story because of how valued um him as a development senior development mm-hmm. uh, uh a 
legitimately senior development practitioner mm. you know whose wisdom i desired that uh, we would lean mm. in and learn from mm. uh, as a first hand mm. um, through many tributes um, we had amazing stories mm. um, and th there is a whole there is a whole on, on your know, youtube channel there is yeah. a whole that is recorded mm -hmm. and there is th there is a lot of nice fantastic stories about his life about his legacy mm -hmm. uh, and they will put the link here um mm -hmm. for, for that to be shared because i would love as many people just to mm -hmm. hear more of what i just shared mm -hmm. here about mr kibinda mm -hmm. because he's truly um i totally wish that a lot of what he, a lot of what we are sh sharing mm -hmm. he would have gotten the yeah. space and the time to to share, uh, to share from his own uh mm -hmm. from his own space so this is this is our tribute yeah. you know to to yeah. him and 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 saying as as he continues to cheer you on because i know yeah. he's cheering you on and to yeah. cheer his his um his children and his grandchildren and his his generations on um I know he's doing it. He's the he's truly the crowd of witness. That's true. Yeah, That's he true. he by himself and he is <laughs> because yes, he had uh, he has he has presence. Yes, you know. Yeah. Um, it's interesting because I don't regret. I have no regrets in life, mm. none whatsoever. Mm. But the one regret mm. is I wish I had done planning. Mm. either at a master's level mm. or uh, something else mm. uh, because then I think I'll have felt more equipped mm. to quick it's a very technical um, field field yeah mm. and just the other day realizing that he played um, a significant role in in writing the planners uh, the physics planning physical planning Plan. act mm. in the Constitution mm. that if you're building mm. you need to have mm. planners. Mm. Mm. So, I mean, I think it's the same way maybe the mm. doctors and nurses look mm. down on each other. Mm. So, mm. architects and planners, mm. blah, blah, blah. Mm. But he gave planners mm. and even the profession mm. so much dignity, mm. you know. Mm. I mean, it was interesting hearing among the tributes or even uh, during the meetings that he was the father of the profession. Mm. Me, I didn't know that. Mm. I was like, he's just my dad. He's mm. my papa, mm. you know. Mm. Um and just the passion he had for mm. spaces mm. is is truly mm. truly amazing mm. Mm. yeah mm. and i mm. really i really do miss him yeah so um and we'll continue to for, for a long time yeah so now yeah. Yeah. when we were busy saying goodbye yes. to the said guy mm -hmm. i remember <laughs> looking around mm -hmm.